Hey there, it's Eileen, and today we are talking about offers. Everybody's favorite, right? I mean, when you're a seller, that is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for these offers to come in and you're like, yes, how many did we get? How high did they go? But there is some strategic planning that we need to do when we get these offers. So the first thing I do when we get offers in is I contact every lender because we make those buyers submit a pre-approval letter from their lender, but I call them because trust me, every lender is not created equal. I will call some of these lenders two or three times. They won't answer their phone. They won't return an email. And so then I get to give you this information and say, listen, yes, we got this amazing offer, but we have three others. This particular offer, I tried to contact this lender. I cannot get through to them. They will not return my phone call. They will not answer an email. Then you get to decide, is that an offer that I'm really comfortable moving forward with? So everything is your decision. I am not making the, these decisions for you ever. I'm giving you information so that you can make an informed decision. Now, there is a little caveat when it comes to offers. What if you're getting none? What if your house has been on the market for seven days? People have come through and they just have not submitted offers. There is a chance that you might be overpriced. In this market, and we're talking 2022, you should have an offer after seven days, at least one. But if you don't, then we have to strategically say, okay, do we need to lower the price? Is there an issue with maybe how the house is presented? Have people not been able to get in to see the property? There's a lot of things that we can discuss as to why there has, has not been an offer. But what I normally do is I give it a couple of weeks. So if after 14 days we have no offers, we really need to sit down and change our strategy. The next thing that we look at with offers are the terms. And the terms can be anything from the price, how much somebody's putting down for their earnest money deposit, how quickly they want to close. Do they want you, the seller, to pay for a home warranty? What exactly is it that you are getting from this buyer? And in turn, what are they asking you to give? Because the price is not the only thing that you want to look at. Because after we get all of these offers, then I do what's called a net sheet for every offer. We take what they're offering on one side, what they're asking for on the other side, and that will total at the end what you're actually going to net as money in your pocket. So don't get necessarily distracted by that big old number at the top because they might have been a little sneaky on the other side. Remember, there are 11 pages to this purchase agreement. So there might be some other costs snuck in there that you weren't aware of. But that's where I come in to keep everybody kind of level and on the same page and show you those net sheets so that you see which offer is actually going to be the offer that gets you more. And if price isn't your thing, maybe the length of time that you need to close is what you're looking at. Or maybe you're looking at something totally different. But that is why we have these discovery calls at the beginning and why we sit down and go over all of these offers in person if possible. Join me on the next video when we talk all about escrow.